Take it easy, it's just a GoPro. Yeah, see, that's better. You think you can eat this GoPro, don't you? You guys are gonna see an incredible difference in the amount of water. Oi, oi, oi. Hello, what's up, Stumps? Here he is, hey, buddy. Say hello, give everyone kisses, man. Check out these bumblebee sickos. Hey, what's going on, everyone? Ken in here, and uh, man, it's been rainy for the last few days here in Florida really really swampy and stuff so i wanted to get out and check on the animals and i thought i'd bring you guys along with me to show you what i have to do after we have any kind of weather or stuff like that now the rain is uh, good for a couple reasons uh the plants as you can see everything is just starting to get incredibly lush here and this is usually the beginning of the dry period for Florida, usually November, December is when it starts. Uh, and then it's pretty dry up until May. Um, but, you know, it's nice to have some rain because after a while of being dry, things get dusty, plants get crusty. And uh, man, I gotta be honest, the bike trails are really sandy. But now, tomorrow when I get to hit them, they're gonna be awesome. Uh, let's check these guys out. You guys remember these wacky rhino iguanas, don't you? Let's have a look, check in. The female, they're still a little bit nuts, so I don't wanna really upset them, but they're still a little crazy. Female's looking good though. You can see she puffs up, getting all rough and tough. But uh, they have, this is actually, to be perfectly honest, uh, pretty calm. So now I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna look at the male. And I'll show you what's been going on with his face, how it's healing up. Uh, and just so you guys can kind of get an idea of that. And look at this. You can also see there's some fire ants that are kind of being uh, attracted to that heat pad. So I'm gonna have to take care of that. Um, but there is the male. So I'm gonna. Uh, this is kind of tough to do with you folks here, but I'm gonna try for it. I'm gonna try and grab him uh, as quickly as I can. All right, we got him. Okay, easy does it, boy, easy does it. I know, I know, you're not too thrilled about this. But I just wanted to kind of show you how the face heals. So I'm gonna shut this up, shut that, and just have him hang out here. You see this? His face is definitely healing. Um, you gotta be careful with this guy. It's not horrible. So I'm happy with that. And as the more he grows, the better that face is gonna heal. Uh, these guys, you know, some lizards just take a little bit longer to tame up, but there he is. He's looking good. And so I wanna make sure I get him back uh, inside the box. And it's good for me to hold him every once in a while as well, so that they're used to me. How cool is that? All right, very cool, huh? So you can kinda see just what's happening with that face. Uh, we leave them in this back area so that they aren't kind of scared all the time by people walking around. For some reason, these guys are just a little bit more skittish, so I've got to be very careful with them. What we're going to do is I'm going to put him back into his box because I don't want him to run around and bash that nice face up. So let's do that. Get in there. All right, cool. So he's back in. And uh, also what I should do is rinse out this bowl. We gotta get rid of that. Let's rinse that bowl out while we're here. So you guys are coming along for some of my little, some of my little chores. I got some poop on my arm, which is customary whenever you're dealing with lizards. But check this out. Since I've got this beautiful pond right here with fresh water, I just like to rinse it out right in this natural water here. The aquascape pond, just like that. Fill it back up, rinse it out. I'm not really worried. I do things a little bit more natural here not bleaching this out water always runs through this uh so i'm not really concerned oh my gosh look at all those ants oh my Sh bunch of sugar ants right there so i've got to get rid of some ants in this enclosure so this is good i'm figuring out all the things i got to do now sugar ants here in florida they don't really hurt the animals but they're just messy i just don't like having all those ants around the fire ants are the ones that i really got to get rid of all right let's keep moving check this out look at how lush this is I love, I love when I have my own jungle, you know what I mean? Okay, let's go see how these lunatics are doing. The blue iguanas. Hey guys, what are you up to? Where is everybody? All right, they have some eat, uneaten food that I'm gonna pull out. Gotta make sure these guys don't run out. We know how iguanas like to run out of places. Okay, I just throw it on out. We'll leave that out so I can rinse it later once I am done hanging with you folks. But I think everybody is actually in their cave. Let's see. Any lizards in there? 
Yep, here they are. They're in there. Okay, good. Well, as I said, been rainy and cool. Uh, so these guys probably won't come out much until we get until we actually get some hot sun. So they're hiding out in their shelters on their heating pads. Uh, look at how much rain we got. We filled up this pond, so much so that this pond, I've got this overflow right here, and it flows into the main pond out there. So crazy amounts of rain. Uh, just on Thursday is when we did a video and you saw, I mean, if you look at the contrast between Thursday's video and today's video, which is Sunday, you guys are gonna see an incredible difference uh, in the amount of water in this pond. It's really, really incredible. That's how much rain we got. It just filled this thing up completely. Look at the main pond, lots of water. Uh, usually it's not that full this time of year. So I'm pretty stoked on that. But look at the back end here. And you could just kind of see where I've got to bring up a little bit more of the uh, soil for when we do, uh, when we put the alligators and the fencing in for the gators and stuff. Uh, let's go through this nonsense. Uh, get wet feet. What are you going to do? I love it though. Got to bring up that bank a little bit more, but you see how low it is here. Oy, oy, oy. Lots of work. Hey, you guys want to see Hercules? I got Hercules out here because good old Herx doesn't get along with the other Sulcatus. So we'll visit with him real quick. Make sure he's okay. Hey, Hercules. What's going on, buddy? There he is. Hercules. Love that guy. Just kind of hanging out here, doing his thing. And uh, man, he's got the barn to go into and he's got a lot that he can mow on, that's for sure. Lots of grass. So there's Hercules, still here, still doing good. Just waiting for a little sun, aren't you, buddy? No problem. Okay, moving along. I love this part, man. I love walking around the yard and checking on everything and you know, just being outside in this creation of mine. There's always something new to look at. Ficus tree. I don't know if I've told you people this, but that's my favorite tree I have. It's a big ficus tree. It's related to the banyan trees. They're a uh, native of Southeast Asia. And they're some of the largest trees on earth as far as covering distance, covering space. One ficus tree or banyan tree can actually spread out to two acres. It's incredible. Uh, the largest one in the United States, I believe, is in... Um, is in uh, the island of Maui, I believe I was there. But the cool thing about these trees here in Florida and uh, where they're from is they throw out what's called air roots. You see these air roots? These tendrils come down. Once they hit the ground, they get big and they become another trunk. And what this does is it helps support this massive, massive canopy that this tree possesses. Uh, so I love them. Some people don't like them because the roots go very far and can mess up structures and stuff like that. But I kind of like them because they remind me of the Jungle Book. And when I was in Australia in Cairns, uh, you, would, you would, every night, you'd hear uh, just lots of noise from the trees. And it would be uh, fruit bats uh, hanging out in the trees. Here are the leopard tortoises. Look at how much their enclosure is developed. Lots of growth from these plants. The tortoises are doing well. They're hanging out here. Uh, some of you may have noticed, um, I kind of went ahead and I cordoned this off. I separated them from the blonde leopards because since it is winter, I want to make sure I keep these guys close to where they can stay warm inside here. Okay. So that's what I've done, but I'm just checking on everyone now and they're looking pretty good. Hello. All my blonde leopards are doing well. There they all are just hanging out. There's Willy Wonky just chilling. Very, very cool. All right, we're moseying along on this little mission to make sure everyone's okay. Ah, gosh, just trying to uh, give you guys the full skinny on what it entails before I get out and start doing things. I like to make sure everyone's okay. And uh, let's start here. Look, I got a lot of work to do. This is very dirty. I'm not happy. The rain got these guys. And so which is fine, the rain's fine, but as far as making a mess with the food bowls, I gotta pull the food bowls out and I gotta go ahead and uh, clean them all out. And that's what I'm gonna do while I'm hanging with you. I gotta kill two birds. Ooh, yes, little collared green action. Throw this one there. 
There's Solomon. I got Solomon and uh, his girlfriend here because what happens is uh, it's just a pain in the neck to bring them in and out during the winter. So what I do is I just keep them in this enclosure and uh, I can wheel it into the snake room to make sure that these guys are warm. And that's what I do. And I'm using these Zoomed uh, iguana ariums. They work very well for me. Uh, all right, over here is some leftover baby sulcatas. These guys are a little bit wet. I want to kind of clean out some of that food. Put this guy down there. So these little guys I'm holding back. Just get some size on them. All right. And uh, I don't know why the food missed <laughs> their uh, bowl, but it did. But there's a little baby sulcata right there. And now let me show you some really fun little creatures that are getting bigger and bigger. Of course, I'm speaking of the baby rhinos. The baby rhinos are just doing so well. Uh, let's pull that out. There we go, throw it over there. All right, so check this out, guys. I'm gonna give you a real close-up view. These guys have been outside for a while. But look at that. Look at this. I love these little guys. So adorable doing incredible all right little babies hi guy and i love how they're becoming more and more tame more and more tolerant of the camera and of me they're not freaking out very very cool all right guys i'll just let you wait for the sun we're supposed to get some sun today which will be nice because uh they need to warm up right okay a little bit messy in here don't judge me people a little bit messy, I keep hearing things. And nothing important, I don't know. But uh, yeah, a little bit messy, I gotta get to work. Uh, don't, don't judge me, bro. Okay, we had a blanket that I threw on top of the hideout here for these lunatics. It's Stumpy and the gals. Uh, the gals' names are Angelique and Trinity. I don't know, a lot of you guys get upset because I didn't name the females. Listen, it's not on purpose, I just kinda, Whatever happens, happens. Up, oh, they pulled their uh, little heater out. And actually, I'm not happy with that heater. It doesn't seem to be working anymore, but hello. What's up, Stumps? How you doing, buddy? How are you, man? We had a lot of rain. Easy does it, pal. Easy does it. We're getting Stumpy used to me. He's doing well, but the females are a little bit wacky. Um, come on. Oh, it's okay, Stumps. And uh, there's Slinky. We'll get to him in a minute. But first, I want to get this dumped out. Clean this out. This has got to be removed. And uh, yeah, this is what I do all the time. When you have a lot of animals, you got to keep up with them. Uh, yeah, they ate their food, which is nice. But as you can see, it's got tons of, of water. Uh, but yeah, so very cool. Hey, what's up, dude? I love you, man. So glad you're here. And then the gals, nice and cool, so they're looking for a little sun, which uh, we should get this afternoon. All right, let's go see uh, everyone's favorite monitor lizard in mine, good old Slinks. All right, Slinky, let's shut that. What good is an airlock if you don't use it? That's what I always say. Hey, Slinky. Hey, buddy. How you doing, pal? You've been digging it again, huh? I see that you have been digging. I'm digging you. All right, man. So, really nice and clear because of the rain. And of course, the uh, water runs for about an hour every day. So that gives him some nice, fresh, clean water that cycles through. Uh, but he's looking dry because I guess he's been in his shelter. Now, they love the rain. These guys will come out in it, but even still, they need to sunbathe. So everybody is kind of on a chill. Easy does it. Everybody's out in a chilled out mode because of the... When I say cool, we're probably 75 degrees today. So for the reptiles with no sun, that's actually cool. They're gonna be more chilled out, um, which is fine. Uh, this has not been very, very cold the last few nights. So I'm happy about that. There he is, hey buddy. Say hello, give everyone kisses, man. There you go, good boy. Love that lizard, man. So he's doing good. Everything in here looks good. I'm probably going to just use my net. I got a net over there, and I just scoop out the pine needles that fall in. Ah, yes. Let's see who's out here. Hello. Hello, you two. Good to see us. Good to see us. I love you guys. 
You're looking for food, huh? You're looking for food, you little precious thing, you. So here's uh, Lola and Guapo. I'm gonna take this. Oh, take that tray so I can spray it out. They're looking for food. But uh, yeah, these guys are great, man. Doing well. Oh, now stop it. Leave him alone. Leave him alone. You're always such a you're always such a little pain in the neck, aren't you? But she's gorgeous. I love the way her nuchal crest, that's the crest right on her neck. I love the way it just protrudes. It stands up very, very nicely on her. Uh, Ty Park actually came here and looked at her and he was blown away. He was like, man, uh, if you want to trade her, I'd be into it. But I uh, love you, Ty, but I don't know, man. She's been with me since August of 2004, as has Guapo. And these guys are my family. I love them to pieces. So we're going to keep her here. I don't care if they don't breed anymore. I'm hoping that when I create this new um, lizard complex, which is what I'm doing with my friends from Knitwire out of the UK, they're coming over in March, and we're going to create a massive lizard complex uh, for all my cyclora. Um, when I do that, these animals are going to be reintroduced into an enclosure that is new to both of them. So what I'm hoping is that it'll reignite their love affair, so to speak, and uh, they'll reset and uh, get along a little bit better and they'll start breeding again. So that's the hope. Anyway, it'd be nice to have Lola and Guapo babies. Uh, up here, everybody is inside the snake room. The Hog Islands, the Timors, and the uh, Blackhead Python are all in there. But if you look down here, these Chinese box turtles are absolutely enjoying the rain and mud as they have been burrowing into this soft mud and just really, uh, you know, having a great time and exploiting all the benefits of being able to dig down deep into that. I like this mud mask you're wearing there, young fella. Uh, actually, that's probably a female. Uh, so good job. And then I got to pick up this. I took this out. Oh, we got to get that back in the warehouse. But there you go. Very cool. And then, of course, they want food. They're behind me at all times. All right, so the cage is looking good. The other thing, guys, is the wind was really blowing last night, so I want to make sure that none of the cages have any kind of uh, structural damage or any branches that fell on them. It's just a part of what has to be done here in South Florida because our weather uh, is extremely good, but it can be extremely bad also. Hey there, handsome. Look at how nice he looks with that beautiful coloration from the shed falling off. Really nice yellows. Huh? Pretty cool lizard. All right there, buddy. I got to step over. You don't hit me, okay? I know you don't like when I do that, but, uh, you know, you got to give me a break here, pal. Come on, beat it. Okay, we're getting out of here. So, looks like everybody in there is doing well. We're making our way towards the front of the property. So, I'll just keep that there. I'm going to spray all that out, clean all that stuff out. Um, that's just algae that grows in it which is no big deal. Um, the water, there's a drip system on the roof of that uh, iguana cage where Stumpy and the girls are. And I set it up. If you guys look, that blue nozzle right there, it drips out, flows right into where I place the uh, water bowl and it overflows. So there is always fresh water in there, but there'll be some algae. Now I have a theory. It's just purely my own theory. It's not scientifically proven. But I think sometimes if we over sterilize um, the water bowls and if we do that, what we do is, you know, we weaken the lizards. Um, plus, if leaves and pine needles and things get into their water bowls, creates kind of a tea. And I'm sure that in the forest, there's a lot of benefits when they're drinking out of puddles. Uh, maybe there's some antioxidants. I don't know. This is all just my idea. But... I let the water roll through, and as long as you have a constant flow of water, that's better than just stagnant water. So here we go. Again, these are all on drip systems as well. They overflow, plus with all the rain, it's been plenty of overflow. Where's Marty at? Yo, oh, there he is. He's up trying to get some, get some uh, sun. What's up, Marty? Yeah, you're tough, I know. I hear you, dude, but everyone wants to see you, man. You're looking good though. I love this lizard, man. Gerard gave me this lizard, Jared rather. Uh, really, really cool animal and he's doing well. So there you have it. Um, yeah, and nice and clean. Let's go see Pinks. Let's see my girl Pinky. And I hear, I hear a gurgle on Sophia's Pond and I'll show you what I gotta do for that. Um, 
I will show you and I got to get uh, some info from my good friends at Aquascape. <laughs> hey, what's up, hon? Say hello to everybody. Oh, take it easy. Take it. It's just a GoPro. Yeah, see, that's better. You think you can eat this GoPro, don't you? Easy does it. I love her. She is so awesome, man. So she's been doing well. She's living in here. Uh, haven't really done anything as far as to reintroduce her to Slinky. Um, I think she's kind of a small gal and I don't want to stress her out. So I'm just going to leave her in here. And uh, there you go. There's her little enclosure. She's good too. So it doesn't seem like anything has fallen on that, which is nice. I mean, all I got in this area anyway are the... Uh, is this bamboo, it's called Wadawa bamboo, it's from South America. Let me show you this. This is the bamboo that I grow down here because it's construction grade bamboo. This stuff, when I harvest it, it's got really thick walls and uh, it's a really, really good bamboo. Now, you hear this? You hear this gurgle? So let me show you what's going on. Right now, the pumps are sucking, uh, sucking in through this uh, reservoir but they're sucking the water down. And that's because we're getting a lot of buildup of leaves. All right, I put these rocks here to kind of keep the leaves from building up. So what I've got to do, which you may have seen in other videos, is I just have to clear out some of these leaves. And then you hear the nonsense stop. No more gurgling, it's pulling in. I'll just spread it out. So it's a little bit of maintenance. It's really not much, as you can see. Uh, it was my, my uh, problem is having this bamboo right here. So as it sheds, uh, the leaves get caught. So I've just got to make sure every couple of days I pull them out so that we don't get that thing running dry. But Sophia's Pond's doing well, as you can see. Check out these bumblebee cichlids. Okay, good stuff. Woo! All right, next up. Here are my cherry heads. They're all out. These guys get really active around this type of day, time of day rather. Um, it's nice and humid, so they're all out doing their thing. Been getting a lot of eggs from these cherry heads. And uh, some of you have ordered cherry heads from me. Uh, the first five that hatch are all sold and they're being shipped out. Uh, so get ready folks. You're gonna be getting your little baby tortoises. So that's kind of cool uh, Really excited about that I just wanted them to raise up a little bit to make sure they're nice and ready to be going to their new homes And to be able to take that little journey. Look at these guys. They're all over the place I'm definitely gonna be getting some food out for everybody because they look hungry and they're ready to go. There's Darth Maul There she is. We got some eggs from her ready to hatch I'll be letting you know when Darth Maul babies are ready, but anyhow all these guys are doing well. <laughs> the Rhino Iggy's Petro and Petra. Hi guys. I got food coming for you. I'm just checking everything right now. Here's a nice, I believe this is one of the males. Yep, this is one of the males. You see he had a wound here. Scoot popped off and it's just healing from the inside out. So there you go. I like checking on these. This is Traveler's Palm. This is doing well. Oh my gosh, look at all the elongata. All these elongated tortoises. These guys love it when it rains. They were soaking here. There's a puddle that collects right here. Look at this. How many tortoises do I have in here? About 24 of these elongated tortoises. Awesome, man. So they must have all come over here so they could soak in the rain uh, in the puddles. They're very active. Lots of eggs from these tortoises as well this season. Super happy about that. Awesome. Hi, guys. They have these pretty yellow heads. All right, that's a strange looking tortoise, but happy nonetheless. Uh, and then of course, how about the good old Redfoots? Everybody's looking good, guys. Everybody's looking good. Uh, ready for some food, I think. So I'm probably gonna come back out here in a little bit and get everybody fed. Awesome. All right. Man, I'm tell oh, you want to see what it means when we have a rainstorm? Just to show you. This is the back area of uh, the cherry head and elongateds. And they have got 
quite a flood, quite a puddle there. And there are maybe one tortoise in it, but you can see just a rainstorm um, that we had really floods everything. So this was last night and I'm out here first thing in the morning. So you can see just what we had going on. Um, okay, let's move along, move along. Nobody's in here any longer, so don't be alarmed at the open gate. There's nobody in here. But just for the looks, I'm going to shut it. Hey, <laughs> cool. And it opened again. Let's go back. <laughs> oh my gosh. I got to rig this thing up with a uh, better latch. There you go. Now it'll stay. I just climb over. Boop, 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 boop. Let's go see how these guys are doing. Of course, I'm talking about Darwin, Nostradamus, and Socrates. This is their new house. And here are the torts. I mean, this is really great. Ah, oh, there they all are. Hey, guys. Hey, guys. How are you guys doing? Are you liking your new house? You liking your new house? Oh, yes, you are. You're in there every night. You know what the great thing is, everybody? Since I built the new tortoise house, these tortoises go in every single night on their own. This is cut down work like you don't know. They just weren't happy with this old one. It's too narrow. Darwin's too big. She was, she was crowding everybody. Now they all have a nice little place to hang out. God, I love this tortoise. This is Nostradamus, uh, my Aldabra tortoise. But uh, yeah, they're doing so good, man. They go in and out every night, no problems. And uh, it keeps them nice and warm and dry, most importantly, right? Okay, so that's cool. And there's Darwin, precious girl right there. Big mama. Hey, girl. Hey, girl. Very good. And of course, the dainty, the delicate, that is Socrates. Named after the famous philosopher, but she's a female. So Socreta, I don't know. Anyhow, she's getting real close to you people. She's probably gonna take a nibble, but uh, we're not gonna let that happen. Because I'm happy everything's looking good, and you are seeing some ritualistic stuff that I do every day to make sure the critters are good. Uh, okay, there is some really cool radiata. Radiateds are good. You know what else? This is actually the pond I was just at unclogging. Hello. And uh, my gosh, loving, oh, look at this radiated getting really exciting and going for a real adventure up in the hilly portion of the front yard so they walk around the back and they can walk up here and they can step down through here and i don't really worry about them flipping over you know you see this is kind of a larger thing the tortoises are quite smart um, they really don't want to take any chances so they always search out the easiest ways to get back down and you can see I've got a lot of different topography and different ways the animals can get up and down there's banana plants there there's the bananas they'll be ripening very soon um, I eat some and I allow the animals to eat some we got some more radiata just go ahead grazing oh how about this let's see some of the badiger why don't we go under and just see what's going on with some of these aquatics from Asia and uh, Australasia because we got some pink belly side nicks as well. Okay, man, and here is the stream. We've got some plants in there. Hopefully they're gonna root and they'll start to take off, but the stream's been a resounding success here for the camp. Tortoises have been loving it, as have some of the box turtles and even the pink bellies. So there you have it, everybody. We have successfully walked the entire two and a half acres, uh, checked in on all the animals that are outdoors. I'm going to finish this video up by saying thank you so much for always being a part of my daily rituals and for watching the videos. Um, basically, I'm trying to educate and help out people and more importantly, help out people who have these animals. 
or if you're just interested in them, you can follow along here at Camp Kennan. So hit like and subscribe. Here are the sulcata. It's a little bit wet out here, but you can see it drains nice, which is why I moved these guys. And there's Lumpy looking just spectacular. Uh, the rest of them are in there. I got to rake out and sweep out their little habitat. But uh, yeah, man, good times here at the camp. Hope you enjoyed the video. We walked around, we saw a lot, uh, and you get to see just what I gotta do every single day when I wake up to make sure everyone's good. Thank you so much, everybody. Don't forget, enjoy yourselves. Be good, be nice to animals. See you later.